levels before, of course, carrying out any conclusive investigation. We do not dispute the existence of ADF level. The name that we dispute the possibility of the regime masterminding such crimes after which they parade especially Muslim people before the main We all remember when the minister told the parliament that the soldiers that were seen on camera beating people on the streets of Kampala were actually from West Africa. We all remember that Jamil Mukuru, who is supposed to, who is said to be the leader of the ADF, was captured on the news shouting at the entrance of the court above City Square that the Serenity regime is the one that gives them money and weapons to the ADF rebels. We also remember that Idi Amin's son, Lumumba Amin, made a video last year suggesting that it was Museveni who murdered Ben Chiwanuka in the 70s. According to him, Museveni was seen driving a car registration number UUU 171, in which Ben Chiwanuka was abducted and later murdered. Museveni went ahead in his book, showing the master seat, to reveal that he was actually the one who was driving that car on the day which his terrorist group was raided by government soldiers. So, the August is just as good as mine. You also remember the confession by General Kaido Tafiri that during their push war days, the Seveni and his bandits would raid villages, rape and kill civilians, and then blame it on the Ogoten government in order to have the population turn against Ogoten. And even today, you all are aware that the regime predators struggle for a greater Uganda and for freedom and democracy. They hire hardcore criminals like Sobi to do the dirty work of them. And of course, they get them after using them. We all are aware of the top secret plans by the regime to assassinate leaders of the national unity platform and later blame it on ADF. I believe by now, most of you have seen the tweet by Honorable Zake exposing the threat to his life. Last year, I had to cut short my trip in Kabali after a friendly European embassy gave us intelligence that there was a plan to kill me by shooting on that tour. Indeed, gunmen were captured on camera, aging closer to me, one of whom was wrestled down by my security team with a loaded gun ready to shoot. He was disarmed, handed to police in Pigeon, but as usual, that was the end of the story. Nothing was done. So, with that background, we have reason to believe that the ongoing shootings are just a dress rehearsal for the regime, but the main targets are the opposition leader in the platform. They want the population to get used to the exit of ADF so that by the time they come for our lives, the population will be convinced already that the killing was a terror attack by the ADF rebels, not political assassination by the NRM. So, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Ugandans, be alert. These are criminals, these are rebels, these are terrorists, these are murderers, and they must never fool you in case anything happens to any of us. Either the regime is responsible for all these shootings and killings, or it knows who is behind it. I mean, isn't it suspicious that the regime bought and installed CCTV cameras around the city and spent more than 450 billion shillings of taxpayers' money, but they've never even identified one shooter through all the years? Doesn't that disturb or provoke your mind? You have seen regime the regime spending a lot of money. Now recently, they've been spending an obscene amount of money for temporary fixing of roads and other infrastructure ahead of the Nagaland Movement uh, Summit. And yet, they never do these things for the citizens. They never fix the roads, they never fix the infrastructure for the citizens. Of course, in a well-governed country, a summit like the NAM Summit, would be a blessing because it would mean more foreign exchange, therefore more business, 
for the locals and citizens. That in Uganda's case, what was supposed to be a blessing has actually turned out to be a curse like it was during the Chogang summit. So many livelihoods have been disrupted and some have even been completely destroyed all in the name of putting up a fake image. Reports indicate that more than 3,000 businesses have been either people have been rounded up and tamed, especially the homeless people in Kampala. Traffic and transport has been has become a nightmare and generally lives of the citizens have been brought to a standstill. All this has been done in the name of the NAM Summit, whose benefits are actually limited to a few political elites who are making a kill out of it. Before long, I'm sure you're going to be seeing scandals and reports of who stole what, of who embezzled what, but that is the daily business that happens under the Muslim regime. I also want the democratic leaders that are invited, that are attending the NAM Summit, to know and understand that they are actually grown up. Yes, an illegitimate government which is holding people from gunpoint against their will. You have seen uh, the government here to the international visitors to the extent that Museveni's minister, Chris Bayonos, actually ordered the people of Uganda the suffering the hungry and angry people of Uganda, but you must order them to smile forcefully when the visitors come, so that they can, you know, pretend to be happy, pretend to be comfortable. Friends, I'm requesting you to use this opportunity and every other opportunity to expose this regime and to expose the reality that indeed Uganda is bleeding. We must do everything possible for the world to know that Uganda is bleeding because this is yet another opportunity. No wonder they are forcing us to smile because they want to cover up their mess. We must continue calling upon the international community to stop financing Museveni and his oppression against the people of Uganda. We must continue demanding for our missing people dead or alive. We must continue demanding for the release of all political prisoners and of course demanding for justice for all those that have been killed extradition. We must continue fighting for freedom, for justice and for equality. We should evoke Article 3 of the Constitution. Article 3, ladies and gentlemen, commands us to do everything within our power to restore constitutional rule, to restore the rule of law using other means. So we should evoke Article 3 of Uganda's constitution. And uh, I mean, we should remember that it doesn't only command us to restore constitutional rule, but it actually protects us while we go about that goal. Once again, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I was asking you to not stop demanding for us right to the hours to continue fighting back. We must continue mobilizing and organizing ourselves at all levels of society so that we come together put an end to this dictatorship or we shall continue to be slaves. We need to fight for our freedom, ladies and gentlemen, because nobody will fight for us if we don't do it for ourselves. Remember the struggle continues. This is a new year. Let us, let us engage another year. Let us do everything possible and let us start now. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for God and my country. Um, you
Tugamu zite zite gogo ba Uganda ya sabu Tomo nana Umako uwede Kapuna tiro kukwaku Tue ula Obabe ula mulinya ya Mulinya ya bana wamu Trillion Mokamu uike Trillion Etengeza billion Kumi Billion Etengeza billion Kumi Unaku walero Kuli kuna yukata Kutati kono mwano Wona kuhumu Abandi wa billion Ami million B Bobo azadi kapeliko Ngakalona kuhumu wa kawi Baka banja Million B Sente zona zona Ze uliwa Na ye Ngazibuli ya mkuli kwa mbuzi Baka ziko zesewa Kuma family ya mseveni Ngeika kwa kiko Ngeinyo ni wa Mwari mwano seveni Baro nda Aba sajari ba yes man Aba ena re Okule mila akachiko kebio kulona Akachiko akweno kubela kete ngelite Na hii ya yote Kayona we na teka mkachika Kukuzama enzoji Zike zizi muku wako zizi muku wako Kachacha aswala Kusege kena wako Na hii ni wakupate ni mwede na wenda Kena masu Kwa gana kukuwanta Kwa gana kukusu mkono Tisha tiriza mwiba nejia Tisha tiriza Sikia kuna nisene mbeda Era kuja kuji wakula Mwala kumwa kukwede Kutuwa atala Kutuwa kula enu pika njuri wa ituwa Kumuka nilu kati kwa wana yuwa Na baba yu ukula kumwa kisi Ukula kati kwa kisi kanya Nene sedi ya tenu waka wakwe Uwope nilu Kutuwa alo mshinga ofisi ya peno Yeye chede skuru Kama ntumaji mwukumi na mwukumi Baba yu kukulaka kukwakizi Kwa hala nungu wakizo wenja uro 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 Kuna uchami kwa sebo ni wanyako Kwa lukwa ata siti ni mzani Kwa wala elia dala Elia ke na masu ni kui semo Kwa wala kwa ni mseme ni Na tano kalu akapili Mwari mbubu Mwuma ni mbubu ni yonji mseme Abata kuma nyo kukulawa Kemi pepe ya ni yukata kifuruma Nisoka lwa chinja na jivaji jako Nisoka lwa chiva na mauli Kwa 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 So, kwa kuna mkisa ni kuro chinga dokumenta reno Eda kifuna nuna mkisa Nege nda kujime gaga ni rubaita national geographic channel Kwa sebo nega nyabu Kwa kuna mkisa Nji eno dokumenta ni kumanga ya liya abie unyo Haba nubanyi mwusio naba la zivaiti masumi ya Eno dokumenta ni ya kena maso Ena kubili ezise Ne wangu la awadi Ya cinema ae in New York Kukumbeko ya liya wangula ni awadi ya Awadi waita International Documentary Awadi Yenale chani wakati geza Kili kukala wezo Ezi nundu wamu Awadi eza Oscars Chite geza chino Chino chite geza Chieno filmu ea kwa chiwa Chite geza jino utapi Owa kwa chiwa ni utawala Ezio na Keka zito Uye sekonde eikia sinze kukua msebe ni Uchanga wa wakati ya fe 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 Nyo ukwetu uli kwanga Ukwetu uli nsiyo na Nga asasula zero beach company Ze ze pay Company emu na manya konji Ya nika asasula Billion nya kuni mwaka Nenga asasule suke kumi Okutige kwa na nyejimuji No kulaga Nje Uganda Kuli Mulai, naye kuguna mule, kuguna mule ni dia sokong di cukola. Ia masuk untuk mula, ada yang kerja kena masuk untuk mula. Kerja siapa? Emas ini mesti beli, bola kita ada. Mesti beli, kaya ukuran, nama pun mesti seko. Ah ah, mesti beli, kaya ukuran nabi, lawan dia dia mengundi ko, mesti mesti. Mesti beli, siapa? Ia kerja kita ada, ada yang kerja kena masuk untuk mula. Na yake, eje tisimala Kicha kena maso Kukwelo wa nako mwuna ini kwanga ya kwe Kwanga ati pili ya bini mwena Ya kika, ya kia, ya kwa wana Kwa kisi nga wana